Hello, this is Doug with Leon Cycle, and I'm going to show you how to unpack your bike and assemble it safely so you can get on the road and have a good time. First, when your bike comes, I want you to check the condition of the box. This one is pretty much perfect, except for that little blemish down there. That might be a dead spider, I don't know. Um, if there's holes in the box, that can be okay. If there's little parts sticking out, like the axle on one of the wheels, that's probably okay too. Most of the parts that are up against the edge of the box are pretty tough. So when you open the box, be really careful because there's these big staples and they can scratch you and make you bleed. So be really careful with these guys. And then when you get the bike open, when you get the box open, look in there and just see if everything looks right. If it doesn't, take some pictures, okay? We want to know if things are damaged. Um, they leave the warehouse in perfect condition, but we have no idea what happens between here and your house. Okay, there's a few small parts in the box we want to take out first. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy off of here. The seat post. There's the seat and the seat post. And then we've got a box of small parts Here's the pedals, the manual. We're gonna set these things aside, but inside the box, we wanna make sure all this stuff is here. We've got charger, tool kit, and importantly, we have the skewer for the front wheel, okay? We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna pull out some other things in the box. You want to remove all the foam in here, set this stuff aside. You're probably not going to need it. Please recycle responsibly. Okay, once you get the bike out of the box, I want you to make sure you look in the box for any loose parts, okay? We've got our small box over here with the tool kit and the charger and things, but it's always good idea to just check the box, see if there's any loose parts floating around in there, because you never know what happens in shipping. So now we want to take all this packaging off the bike, all this foam and everything. You've got to get the front wheel off. All these ties should come right off. You shouldn't need any tools. You shouldn't have to use any razor blades or knives to get these things apart. We try to make it as tool free as possible for this section. Okay, you've got all the packaging off now. We've taken all the foam out of everywhere. Everything's untied. We're going to put the handlebars on first, which means we're gonna need the five millimeter Allen wrench to take the top nut off here, the top cap, and it should come right off very easily. And then you do not need this little piece of white plastic tubing. That goes with the foam and everything else. The handlebars are pretty well assembled. We just wanna make sure that we have all the cable routing correctly on either side of the bike frame and then the stem just slides right on top of the steer tube of the forks and we can put the top cap right back in and we're going to screw this down just snug. It doesn't have to be really tight right now. We're really just holding this whole assembly right here together with the top cap. Okay, so now we can set that aside and then we'll deal with the front wheel. It had a little foam on here that we've already taken off. There are axle protectors in here, and that's really so we don't scratch anything up and it doesn't get damaged. And then we want to put the skewer in. This is the quick release skewer. It has a hand knob and then two little springs. If you can't get one of these guys out or the tab breaks off inside the hollow axle, you can put the skewer in, give it a little tap, and that piece comes right out. Then we're going to put the spring back on, they're conical shaped springs and the small end goes on towards the axle. And then the hand knob goes on. You wanna leave this a little bit loose because when we put it in the forks, there's a safety tab on the bottom of the forks that this has to get over. So we'll tighten that up once we get it on the forks. Remove this little safety piece. If this fell off in the box or it's broken, that's okay. That means it's done its job. You want to be really careful at this point. You want to make sure you line up that brake rotor so it goes into the brake caliper between the pads. 
And then you can see this is a little bit tricky. You might want to get a friend to help you with this. Can I get my friend to help me? Okay. Thank you. All right. My friend is also the cameraman. This is Enrique, by the way. Say hi, Enrique. Hello, Neon Cycle customers. <laughs> we got a stubborn one. Nah, user error. We just got to tighten this hand knob up until the quick release lever starts to grab at about halfway through the throw, right about here. And then you want to make sure that the wheel is centered up in the forks before you tighten this down so that it's all the way in the forks. That's going to help everything run smooth. Give that a spin. Make sure the brake rotor is not rubbing on the brake pads. Next thing we're going to do is install the seat post and seat. We can do this so that we can flip the bike upside down and get the rest of everything else adjusted. Okay, now we've got our seat post and our seat installed, all the packaging is off the bike. What we're going to do now is flip the bike upside down. And before I do that, I want to make sure you rotate your display screen out of the way and then the throttle. If you rotate it and it's not uh, rotating out of the way because of some other things in the way, you can just take the little screw out and just pop it right off so it's out of the way. Then we'll kickstand up. Flip the bike upside down. And this will help us with the rest of the assembly. Okay, now that we've got the bike upside down, we're gonna put the pedals on, um, and then we're gonna adjust the derailleurs. I like to have the chain on the middle chain ring in the front, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pedal this, give it a click, and it should shift right up there. Pedals. You're going to notice the pedals are a little bit different. If you look right here by the threads, this one is smooth and this one has some uh, indentation lines here. The one with the lines on it is the left pedal and it's reverse threads. Pretty important. Okay. I always like to put a little bit of grease on the threads just to help everything go together well. That's the advanced technique for installing pedals, in case you're wondering. 15 millimeter wrench. These we want to make sure they're quite snug. Pedals are installed. Now we can pedal. Middle chain ring and the smallest cog in the back, which is high gear, or on this bike it's seventh, on some models it could be the eighth gear. Okay, we've got pedals installed. Now there's a critical observation I want you to make when looking at this. This is, especially if there's been any damage to the box, especially around the derailleur side, if this uh, derailleur guard is bent into the derailleur or anything, it's quite malleable. You can literally just grab it and bend it, and that's okay. If you need to get it away from the, this power cable or the derailleur body itself, just go ahead and bend that out. It should be just fine. The critical observation I want you to make is this derailleur hanger right here and the rear cage of the derailleur and this pulley wheel especially. This pulley wheel should be right in line with this smallest cog back here. That's the way it's adjusted when it's shipped to you. If it's damaged during shipping, we may need to adjust this a little bit, which isn't too difficult, but if you're not comfortable, this may be a point at which we had to take your bike to the local bike shop and get a local assistance. Okay, here we are. We're gonna adjust some rear derailleur here, but I just wanna see if it's gonna shift well. So we're gonna go ahead and pedal the bike. 
and shift the gears with the other hand just to make sure they're going through the gears right. If it does some hopping like that, you see that? It's not quite adjusted right. I want to keep going. That one's smooth. That's okay too. We go all the way up. Most of those gears are pretty smooth. I want to go back down to the one that was kind of hopping around a little bit. This one. Hear that? It's a really simple adjustment. There's a barrel adjuster right here. And I think we need to add a little bit of slack to this one. So we're just going to turn this clockwise about a half a turn. Let's see how that works. It's still hopping, but a little less. We'll give it another turn or two. Now it's smoothed right out. See how easy that was? Just a couple little turns of the barrel adjuster will smooth everything out. I'm going to go through some more gears here. We'll see if everything else is working well. Okay, I'm just putting this screw back in the throttle because I took the throttle off to flip the bike upside down. And that's nice and snug. So now we're just going to tighten up the stem, make sure the handlebars are straight. We've got the gears working well and just a couple fine tune adjustments and this thing's pretty much ready to ride. There's pinch bolts right here on the stem. We want those to be locked down fairly snug because this is what holds the whole front end together. And of course, you want to make sure that your handlebars are straight before you tighten this one up. This is the five millimeter Allen wrench, by the way. It's the same one for your top cap. It's holding the whole headset together. Okay, that's nice and snug. Now, since there's two pinch bolts, what you want to make sure is when you tighten one, you have to go back and tighten the other because tightening one will actually make the other one a little bit loose. Okay. We also want to make sure that the handlebar stem is tight where it's actually holding the handlebars. So we're going to use the four millimeter Allen wrench. And it's kind of good to just go around the whole bike and make sure all the little nuts and bolts are snug. You don't want the thing coming loose when you're riding. Okay, we've got just about everything adjusted. I think it's about time to start the power up. We'll power up the battery. Button is on this side. And we should see four bars, which uh, you'll see when you get your bike. And then on the screen display up here, we need to push the power button. Make sure the reflectors are snug. This will power up, and then the pedal assist should work. I don't know if you could hear that, but I could tell that the power kicked the wheel into motion. The other way for me to check that is via the throttle. Works just fine. Lots of good torque there. At this point, you're probably going to want to air up the tires. They don't come fully inflated. So this one's pretty good out of the box, but I like to pump them up to about 50 PSI before I go ride. All right. Okay. You've got your bike pretty well put together. I want you to make sure that if there's any damage, you take some photographic evidence and you can shoot it to us. If we need to warranty you some parts that are damaged, that's what we're here for. Also, you went through your gears. If they're adjusted properly, great time to go ride. If they're still making some funky noise, I really recommend you visit your local shop. I want you to support your local bike shops. They're there to help you. They're there to set you up with all the accessories that you want and um, really just develop a good relationship with them. They're going to help you maintain your bike and keep it in good running order down the road. So it's a good thing to go in there and make some friends. So make sure you get your helmet, go have a safe ride. And if you have any questions at all, come find us. We're at leoncycle.com or leoncycle.ca and we're here to help.